There was certainly a lot of women's matches on Ring of Honor this week. On Dynamite, Tyre Valkyrie and Lady Frost got a ring entrance. This match went on longer than I actually thought it would. And Valkyrie was actually selling a spinny kind of corkscrew thing from Lady Frost off the top turnbuckle. Then Jade appeared. And in my opinion, the selling of Lady Frost's moves on Tyre Valkyrie seemed to stop. And she was more interested in Jade Cargill at the top of the ramp. And that kind of tainted the match for me. And it ended in a row to Valhalla. Of course, Tyre Valkyrie wins. We also got a promo from Jamie Hayter, Tony Storm on their upcoming pay-per-view match. Then from Willow Nightingale, who won the New Japan Strong Women's title. She wasn't supposed to originally, it's just because Mercedes Monet broke her foot in that match. And called it and said that Willow should win. Hopefully Mercedes gets better soon. And it is nice to see Willow with a belt. Fur Vixen is a world champ in the promotion called Defy. But you wouldn't know that. Not from the way she was treated in Ring of Honor. Hogan wins in this squash match. And Athena is out offering Hogan to step up. Caprice Coleman was rapping to Willow Nightingale's entrance music. And Willow didn't have her IWGP belt because this was recorded beforehand. Willow wins with a babe with a powerbomb. Even though these last two matches were squash matches, the commentating makes it worth watching. This match really was the definition of a squash match because Dream Girl Alley didn't have any offense and Mercedes Martinez seems a bit wooden. Not a criticism, just an observation. And she picks up the win. Commentary sold Ashley Dabois as the underdog in this match. And in-ring action proved that. Daniela Camella did have the advantage. But Ashley actually won. So for the commentary and the in-ring storytelling, I really enjoyed this match. Athena Palmer taps a promise Braxton with a Cobra clutch. Sleeper, delayed suplex, and intimidating the ref made it a fantastic match. Then after the bell, Kiera Hogan came back out and actually got the best of Athena and made her kiss the bell, as Ian Riccoboni mentioned on commentary. On this mammoth edition of Ring of Honor, we got Sky Blue winning her match against Alize, who's kind of an enhancement talent, which is a shame. Nightingale, Martinez, and even Sky Blue are not working with the top tier or each other. And it's a bit weird, it's like Jade Cargill, she's always given jobbers. Will Sky Blue and Martinez battle? This episode was just a bit weird. On Rampage, my favourite wrestler, Hikaru Shida, was teaming against Brett Baker to take on Marina Shafir and Nyla Rose. Marina Shafir does fantastic mat wrestling. I like the judo throws she did on Brett Baker in this match. They really look like they hurt. Also, she was exchanging forearms with my favourite wrestler. I think the combination of Marina Shafir and Nyla Rose work well together. I also neglected to say both teams actually got an entrance. To end this match, Hikaru Shida did a katana kick on Marina Shafir. And Shafir sold it that she was knocked out. Baker then put on the lock jaw. So Shida and Baker won. But after the match, on the large screen, we saw the outcast beating up Jamie Hayter. So I'm not sure what's going to happen on the pay-per-view. Hopefully Hater retains, because I think she's one of the best champions so far.